In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to make a very simple model of a jet plane. A good way of learning is to experiment with variations on your models, and in this tutorial, I make a different shape wing using a mirror modifier. To access the scene from a range of views, I'm going to toggle quad view. I'm going to the add menu, mesh, cylinder. I'm going to hide the cube in the outliner window. In the right view, I'm going to press R to rotate, followed by 90, and enter. And in the top view, I'm going to press S to scale, followed by Y for Y direction. And I'm going to enter a value of 8.5. And that basic cylinder is going to act as our, the body of our jet. In the outliner window, I'm going to hide the cylinder and show the cube. We're going to make the wings by extruding from the sides of the cube, but first of all, we have to reshape it. So first of all, I'm going to press S to scale, followed by X for X direction, to shrink the cube so it fits inside the cylinder. I'm going to enter a value of 0.8. Then I'm going to flatten the cube. So I'm going to press S to scale, followed by Z or Z, to flatten in the Z or Z direction. I'm going to enter a value of 0.15. And finally, zooming in with the mouse wheel, I want to uh, stretch the cube in the Y direction to widen the wing. So I'm going to press S to scale, Y for Y direction, and I'm going to enter a value of 2. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to delete all the faces of the cube except for one which I'm going to extrude from to make the wing. I'm going to select a vertex which I'm going to delete, then I'm pressing B on the keyboard for B select and dragging out. I want to select vertices at the back as well, so I'm going to click this button, limit selection to visible so that it's off. Press B again, drag. Now if I hide the 3D manipulator widget, I've got all the vertices I want to delete, so I'm pressing delete on the keyboard and vertices and we're left just with the plane I'm going to extrude from. Before I extrude the wing, I'm going to add a mirror modifier. So I'm clicking the modifiers button and picking up mirror. I'm pressing A on the keyboard to select all, and I'm going to press E to extrude, and I extrude the wing. And again, I'll enter a numeric value of minus five. I want to taper the wing, so in the right view, I'm going to press S to scale, and shrink down and I'm going to enter a value of 0.6. Uh, I want the tip of the wing to be narrower but no thinner so I'm going to press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction and shrink that down again this time a value of 0.5 and enter and then I want to push the wing back so in the top view I'm going to press G to grab followed by Y for Y direction and move the wing back I'm going to enter a value of 3 and enter. Let's just unhide the cylinder and zoom back a bit to see what we've got. I'm going to zoom back using the mouse wheel in the top view and the right view. Now this tutorial is about making wings, but the tail pieces are so easy that I'm going to quickly do them. I'm going into object mode and I'm going to duplicate the wings by pressing, holding down shift and pressing D on the keyboard, followed by Y just to move the duplicate in the Y direction. I'm then going to press S on the keyboard and shrink that down. I'll enter a numeric value of 0.5, enter. Now, that will make the tail pieces quite thin, so I'm going to go to the properties of the duplicate, and in the Z scale, Z or Z scale, I'm going to enter a value of 0.1 to thicken that up. In the right view, I'm going to press G to grab, followed by Y for Y direction, and I'm going to move the tailpiece so the tip of the tailpiece lines up with the end of the cylinder. In the top view, I'm going to duplicate the tail, Shift and D, and Y for Y direction, and move the duplicate forward. I'm going to go to the Modifiers button, and I'm going to delete the mod uh, mirror modifier for the duplicate. And in the right uh, front view, I'm going to press R to rotate, and bring that up. Uh, enter a numeric value of minus 90, enter. And in the top view, I'm pressing G to grab, Y for Y direction, and again, move that back so the tip of the tailpiece lines up with the end of the cylinder. 
That's the end of this tutorial. If you want to see my other tutorials, go to my YouTube channel, which is Ian Scott 888 or go to my website, which is www.freemovies.co.uk, at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.